Howdy folks. I just wanted to do this extra video for you all about this underrated feature in Windows 10 and Windows 11 called the input panel. Other than emoji, it has other features and functions that are quite useful. There are two ways to open it using keyboard shortcuts. The first of which is to press the Windows key plus V. This will open the input panel on the clipboard history tab. Whenever you copy text or an image on your computer, it gets saved to the clipboard. It used to be when you went to copy something else, it would overwrite your previous copy. That's no longer the case. For those times you forgot to paste something you had previously copied, you can now find it here in the clipboard history. Clicking on an entry in the clipboard history will paste it wherever you want it. Let's do another one. And so on and so forth. This has saved me on numerous occasions when I have forgotten to paste. Another way to open the input panel is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus the period key. This will open the tab for the most recently used emojis. Clicking on any of these will add them wherever you have a text field in any program you have on your computer, like Microsoft Word. You can also add them to text fields on web pages, for example, in the comments on YouTube. Clicking on the emoji tab will show you the various categories. Some of the categories include smiley faces and animals, people, celebrations and objects, food and plants, transportation and places, and the last one is the symbol emojis. The easiest way to find an emoji is to do a search. So let's do a search for rocket. I'll add that one. Let's go back. To the right of emoji is gif or jif. However you pronounce it does not matter. You can do a search here as well to find what you're looking for. Let's go with South Park. And clicking on these, we'll add them. Let's get rid of that. Let's reopen the input panel using the Windows key plus period. To the right of GIF, GIF, whatever, is Koemoji, which I've never been a fan of. You'll also find this in various categories as well. Let's go back. And the last one here to the left of clipboard history is symbols. This one is super useful to be able to insert symbols you would not find on your clipboard. When you initially click on symbols, it will show you the symbols you've recently used to help save you time trying to find them. Symbols are arranged in various categories here at the top. There's general punctuation, currency symbols, Latin symbols, geometric symbols, math symbols, supplemental symbols, and the last one is language symbols. It's not perfect, but using this is easier than using the built-in character map in Windows. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments by using the emojis in the input panel. And if you're new to our humble channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tutorials for Windows and other tech-related stuff.